Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Pack the Monkey back again with another unboxing video of Wilds of Eldraine pre-release kit. So as you um, might have heard from the first video, I was able to buy two pre-release kits and I got a promo pack from my LGS and two additional set boosters that goes along with this pre-release kit. Um, yeah, so we're gonna open this and see what we get. Hope we get some good finds here. All right, let's start. Okay, as I did mention on my other video, I had just come from surgery the other day. Um, unfortunately, that has caused me a lot of pain um, and do have shortness of breath. So if I am not as lively or am eating my words, then you know why. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put the set boosters and the uh, promo pack up here and let's open this um, pre-release kit so we have a die here um, 20 sided die and we have the five or uh, six uh, what do you call this uh, draft boosters which we will open and okay we have a tail for the ages for the um, what do you call this the, Foil promo card, is that what you call it? What do they call this thing? So this comes with draft losers contain um, one card of rarity, rare or higher, one enchanting tales card, three uncommon, nine common, one land card, mythic foil enchanting tales in Less than 1% of boosters. Traditional foil of any rarity replaces a common in 30% of boosters. Alright. Okay, and what else does it say here? Um, six draft boosters, one traditional foil rare mythic with a year stamp and a spin down life counter. Alright, so let's get to it. Let's put this guy aside. So let's open this. I think this is the um, foil with a year thingy on it uh, and then it comes with the tokens for the uh, token enchantment so tail for the ages two to cast enchantment enchanted creatures you control get plus two plus two and then we get the auras here wicked and cursed plus monster sorcerer young hero and royal okay so this is actually a pretty cool mechanic again great for um, decks that uh, are enchantress decks or aura heavy. So let's go to the first pack. Let's see what we get. Hopefully no whammies. On the last um, pre-release kit, I only got two mythics. So hopefully we can do more than that with this one. All right. So start off with Stormkill Prowler. Go through the commons. Okay, so supposedly there are nine of them. Is that true? One, two, three, four. Yep, nine commons. Three uncommons. Earth Elemental. So these are adventure cards. Um, Picnic Ruiner. Tangled Span Lookout. And we start off with a mythic. It's Rowan Sign War. Nice. So this is one of the um, um, sought after uh, commanders from this particular set. Uh, so she reads, um, so this, this is a three to cast um, legendary human wizard for two with Menace. Tap it, spells you cast this turn that are black and or red, cost X less to cast, where X is the amount of life you lost this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. So this is a very powerful card. You monetize your life, your life lost um, to be able to uh, reduce the cost of spells. And for black and red, uh, you can do a lot of that right in these colors so this is very good way to start the pack and we get a um, intruder alarm in the um, what do you call this the uh, let's just say the, the um, extended art showcase um, all right and then we get the land so let's put the mythic over here and land and eco. and then we'll put the foil down here tokens there Okay, great way to start. We got Rowan Sign of War right away. 
Okay, so we're moving on to pack number two. So let's go through the commons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put that away. So discerning financier, Lord Skitter's Butcher, Royal Treatment, and next we have a rare Restless Fortress. Okay, so this is a land, comes in tapped. You can tap it to add white for black, pay four. Comes a 1 4 white and black nightmare creature for the turn. It's a land, and whenever it attacks, the cannon carrier loses 2 life and you gain 2 life. Okay, cool. So that's an interesting land. And we got a Grasp of Faith. That's beautiful art right there. Okay, and we put that over here. And we um, got the showcase art. So let's do that. Okay, and then the rare is over there. Swamp. And a bird. Okay, next pack. I honestly think that these kinds of packs are much easier to open compared to the Japanese style ones like the set booster, or you have that um, slip there that you can open up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, fairy, dream thief, gingerbread hunter. And a graceful takedown. Next, we have a rare. It would be Were Fox Bodyguard. So this is a three to cast Elf Fox Knight. Interesting. Uh, two two would flash when it enters the battlefield. Exile up to one other target non fox creature until Were Fox Bodyguard leaves the battlefield. And you can pay two sacrifice uh, Were Fox, and you gain two life. Cool. Okay, and then we have an uncommon. Garrick's Uprising. Okay, nice. Land and token. Okay, moving on to pack number four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think there are any comments here of note anyway, so we'll just blaze through that. Next, we have Ariat's Tempting Apple, Legendary Artifact Food. So I was saying in one of my videos that there should be Legendary Food Tokens or Legendary Food Artifacts. Um, so that's cool that they actually have that now. Tangle Span Lookout, Ash Party Crasher, Human Peasant to cast with haste and celebration. So whenever Ash attacks, if two or more non land permits are back, you under your control of the turn, put a 1-1 one -one from Ash. Okay, and then for the rare, we have a Charming Scoundrel, so it's a human rogue to, to cast 1-1 one, one with haste. Um, when, cha when Charming Scoundrel enters the battlefield, choose one, you discard a card, then draw a card, create a treasure token, or create a wicked roll token, attach the target creature you control. So, and then we have another Grasp of Fate, and a nice wordless land, plus a fairy token. Okay, pack number five. Oops. Okay, so let me just pick up those cards there. Okay, sorry for that, guys. I dropped the cards. Couldn't pick them up right away because of my stitches. But anyway, here we go. So let me go through the first nine. Okay, and then we have a foil over here. Island there. So for the uncommons, Twisted Sewer Witch, Soul Guide Lantern, and it, the Princess Takes Flight. So this is a 3 to cast saga. Um, first, Lord Counter Exile up to one target creature. Second one is target creature control gets plus two, plus two and gains flying on the turn. The third one is return the exiled card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Okay, and then for the rare, we have a Questing Druid. So this is a uh, questing druid with um, also an adventure. So for the adventure, uh, you pay one colorless and one red. Exile the top two cards of your library until end of your next step. You may play those cards and then you can cast a druid for two. One one druid whenever you cast a spell that's white, blue, black, or red. Put a one one counter on questing druid. Cool. And then we have a Phyrexian Unlife. 
So this is an enchantment, trick to cast. You don't lose the game for having zero or less life, as long as you have zero or less life. All damage dealt to you is through source hat infect. Ooh, okay. And we got a nice beast token, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, moving on to the last path. So far, only one mythic, which is uh, Rowan's Sign of War. Hopefully you can get something here. Okay, let's go through the commons. So we have Dutiful Griffin, Picklock Prankster, Corvold, and the Noble Thief. Do we get a mythic here? Yes, we do! It is Talion, the Kindly Lord. Nice. So for the cast, very noble. Um, so this is a 3-4 legendary f with flying. As Talion, the Kindly Lord, enters the battlefield, choose a number between 1 and 10. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with mana value, power, or toughness equal to the number, chosen number, that player loses 2 life and you draw a card. Wow, this is a pretty powerful effect. I guess the question here is what number would you choose? I did see that there was a video done by the folks in the command zone where they sort of calculated what would be the best number. I think it was 3 or 4. So yeah, this is a very interesting commander to put together. So that's our second mythic. And we have a Utopia Sprawl, um, and a Swamp, and a Marketing Card. Alright, so let's go now to the set boosters, and let's see what we get here. Okay, so that one was quite easy to open. Alright, so let's start with the Art Card, put that over there. Okay. Off to an on an adventure. So we have a marking card here. We have a foil charmed code here. Ooh, and then uh, so just one common, and then we have an uncom uncommon right away. Knightly Valor. So this is an aura of five to cast. Uh, enters the battlefield, create a two-two white knight creature token, and giant creature gets plus two plus two, and has vigilance. Okay, and we get another one, Compulsion, another enchantment in that, uh, what do you call this thing? So they call this, let me just see again, what do they call this thing? Enchanting Tales, is that what they call it? Well, anyway. So in the showcase art, compulsion, and then we have a rare decadent dragon. So for the cast, it would also has an adventure with expensive taste. Okay, and then we have Johan, apprentice sorcerer, and then splashy spellcaster, Gadwick's first duel, and we have the commons there in the land. And then last, set booster. So I guess set boosters we open the other way from the back. So when I open up the set boosters, the next videos I'll open them from the back. Ooh, this is proving very tough to open. Give me a second here, folks. There you go. So this is the art card over here. So we'll get through the commons. Swap. Okay. Some uncommons over here. And ginger brute over there. Okay. And then maybe here we start to have some of the nicer cards. Alright, we have a quart of embreath. And I think this is coming from the commander. Uh, Precons. So, for to cast enchantment, so when Card of Embreath enters Dalby, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your end step, create a 3 1 red knight creature token. And if you're the monarch, Card of Embreath deals X damage to each opponent, where X is the number of creatures you control. Okay, interesting. Next up, we have a mythic virtue loyalty. Nice. So, it's a 5 to cast enchantment with an adventure. Um, so, if you cast it, as an enchantment, at the beginning of your end step, put a 1-1 counter in each creature you control. Untap those creatures. But if you cast the adventure, create a 2-2 white 
Knight Creature Token with Vigilance. For one and colorless. Okay. And then we have a ley line of sanctity um, in this showcase art. And a foil prophetic prism. And a list card, which is Traveler's Cloak. Um, so what does this do? A giant creature, Traveler's Cloak enters the battlefield, choose a land type. When Traveler's Cloak enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted creature has land walk of the chosen type. Okay, cool. So we'll put that over here. Um, and we'll end this on a foil promo pack from Midnight Hunt. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we can get... Um, what are the good cards from this? Meat Hook Master, maybe? I would love to get a foil of that. So let's start from the back. Ooh, we have a nice foil promo stamp heroic intervention. So that's that's a pretty penny right there. Cool. And then let's open the promo. Okay, so it's a Gavin Dawn card. Okay. And for the promo, we have Memory Deluge. Okay, so promo stamp, but it's kind of messed up. Uh, for the cast, instant, look at top X card of your library. For X amount of mana, spent to cast a spell. Put the two of them into your hand, the rest and bond your library in a random order as flashback. Okay, so we picked up three mythics here. A couple of good um, rares. And a nice heroic intervention from the promo foil. So I will be next opening two set boosters. Hopefully we can get some more... Uh, chase cards from that, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye-bye